Hi guys, so today we're going to be learning this super cool location animation. So let's get right into it to learn how to do it. Before we get into this tutorial, I'd like to say that you can download this PowerPoint right now. There will be a link in the description and on the pinned comment to my website where you can get it from. But with that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. So as always, we're going to start off with a blank presentation. We're going to change the layout to blank. Now, I just want you to copy whatever map you want to be using for this animation. I'm just going to be using a very simple south world map-ish. I've got it in my clipboard, so I'm just going to go Control-V and we've got it in. The next step is to get our location icon. This is very easy. We just go insert icons and then we're going to just search up location. Uh, we'll just pick the first one and then we're just going to format it slightly, not too much. We're just going to make it red instead and then make a graphics outline of black and then make that weight one and then we're just going to size it up and I'm just going to be using Brazil since Brazil is probably the biggest on this map um, you can use obviously whatever you want for this animation the next step to do is we're going to input a rounded rectangle which is if you don't know where that is if you go home in this drop down box it's under rectangles it's the second one across and we're going to pull this orange dot right here all the way as far as you can. And that's going to make it look like a circle, but then if we pull it out, you can see it's literally a, a very rounded rectangle just with completely rounded corners. The reason why I do that is just it looks better. And we're going to size it down to make that curve go with that icon right there. So let's just size that down. Then we're going to make the shape fill white. Shape outline, no outline. So we just have a completely white thing. Actually, it might work better as black. So if it's very dark on your map, you can make it a white background and then a black text. But for this one, since the map is very light, we're gonna go shape fill black and then the text on top will be white. So the next thing we need to do is input our text, which is obviously gonna be Brazil. I like it being um, all caps. And I'm gonna make it Poppins. Obviously, this can be whatever. Another good font might be Arial Black. Arial Black, let's see what that looks like. It'll be a lot thicker like that. But I personally like Poppins. I'm gonna make it bold. And then I'm gonna make it italics. And then we're gonna make it white. The next thing to do is to center the text just so that it stays in the center. It just makes it a lot easier. And that's there and line text in the middle. We're gonna size it up a bit, maybe to like 32. That works. Pull it across, and then obviously we're gonna resize our rounded rectangle in a bit. So we have basically all our shapes, well, not everything as you'll see, but we have all the main aspects of this animation. So the next thing to do is to animate the this location pointer. Uh, you can really do this in any order, but let's just go in this order. So the problem with what the preset animations are in here is that, especially with the spinner animations, which is what we want, for example, if I just show you again, it's gonna be like a spinning animation at the start. We want it to go around this point. However, uh, a normal spinning animation in PowerPoint will just go around like this. Look, if I show you what a spinner animation will look like on here. It'll go around the center, which is, which is the center of that object. However, we don't want that, so let's just cancel that. What we want is it to go around here, and that's what I like to call anchor pointing. So if you don't know what that is, you can click on this video here where I go into more depth about how to anchor point. Uh, in that video, I go through a character animation, which is pretty cool, um, and how to add anchor points. So the way you do it, simply, is just to add another shape and then group it together to that if, if I, for example, had two, two shapes over here and then just group them together, the, the center point would be in between those two and then it would just go round. If I had two objects, one that is way bigger than the other, it's just gonna be the center of that group. So we can use that to our advantage here in creating like a nothing shape that's completely invisible. And the way you do that is just make the fill invisible and the outline invisible. So first we're gonna just size this circle all the way down. Um, and then we're gonna put that right at the point. So just zoom in and then that's gonna be right at the point. 
of, of the location. And then we're going to go control shift, hold that down and then drag out. This will make it size up uniformly around that point. Make it cover the anchor point, you can make it as big as you want, just beyond the anchor point. And then make the shape fill, no fill, shape outline, no outline, and then hold shift and then click on the location and then go control G to group that. And then now you can see if I spin it around, it'll spin around the location point, which is pretty cool. So now we're gonna go animations, click the drop down box, go more entrance effects, and then under moderate, we're gonna go spinner. There we go, click OK. The next thing to add on to that icon is uh, kind of like a size up and size down. And that's what happens when the map grays out. As you can see here, it goes up and down, you see? Up and down. So to do that, we're just gonna click on that icon, uh, or not icon, now it's a group, and go add an animation. So here's a, a important thing, don't go into the drop down box and click on your animation here, because that will override your your spinner animation. We want to go add animation so that we can add more than one animation to an object and then we're going to go grow shrink. So you can see it just grows and the good thing is it helps again that our anchor point is down there because now when, when it grows it'll grow from that point which is pretty cool. So we're going to go under that uh, we're going to go animation pane and then double tap on that yellow one which is our grow shrink animation. We're going to make it 110 under this drop down box here click enter and then we're going to go auto reverse this means it go up and down automatically as you can see it's pretty slow right now but that's because our duration is set to two seconds which is quite a long time so we're going to bring it down all the way to 0.25 you can see it looks like it's 0.5 but that's just because it auto reverse so each way is 0 0.2, uh, 0.25 so if i go play from there we go you see that now we're going to go click on this drop down and go after previous. So let's just show you what our animation looks like. We've got this whole location icon animated already, which is pretty cool. So the next thing is another really tricky thing that uh, the average user of PowerPoint probably wouldn't be able to do, um, but obviously you're definitely going to be able to do this. So it's this color change that you see when the map basically grays out apart from Brazil. The way you do this is we need three more images basically. So you're just gonna hold on the background image, go control, and then just drag, that copies it, and then just put it back in place. And then we're gonna go picture format, color, and then we're gonna turn the saturation right down to gray. Now we can just send that back and then bring it forward by one so it's in front of our map. Now you just, dra just drag that a bit out of the way and then go control C, control V of the bottom image so that we've got the colored one again and then just drag that grayed one back over. And then drag this new image all the way back over again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go crop and then just crop to whatever place you want. Obviously I want Brazil, biggest country on this map. So we're just gonna drag that all the way down, all the way across. So there we go, we've got our, our cropped image. Obviously that doesn't look very good because it just looks like a complete square, which looks pretty bad. So we want to click on that, go picture format and go remove background. This is probably one of the coolest features in PowerPoint and it means it's not perfect obviously as you can see from the start, but you can change it using these two tools here. So we're going to go mark areas to keep and then we're going to click on these areas, the areas you want to keep obviously. So I'm just going to click off all of Brazil over here here and PowerPoint's tool is actually really powerful to get this mostly correct and this is one of the tools that I use a lot in my presentations especially when I'm trying to impress because I can do really cool animations like this so we can get out these and obviously now I'm using the remove tool As you can see some of these lines are getting a bit annoying so we can just get rid of those might take a while but 30 seconds will probably do the job that seems fine so click out and then there we go we've got our colored transparent image with a transparent background which is what i mean we can go send to back and then bring forward by two so that it's in front of the two background images and we're going to add um, 
we're, we're actually going to add an animation to the grey one and we're going to add the animation of fade. And this makes it because obviously that removed background image just fades right into the coloured one. But when we fade this, since it's between the two objects, it will fade in and look as we want. We're going to change the duration to 0.25 of the animation, go with previous and then delay 0.25. This means as the as the location goes up, nothing will happen, but when it starts going down, then the image will grey out, which is what I seem to like. So if we do that, you can see we've almost got the entire animation effect. Now we're going to do the text, which isn't was just optional, but I think it looks really good. So we're going to just go wipe, or wipe, and then from left or from right, whichever way you're doing it, you could do it on the other side, to be honest. Um, and then we're going to go click on the text. We're going to go drop down, entrance effects, spinner, OK, effect options, drop down box here, animate text by letter, 10% delay between letters. This is probably one of the coolest features in PowerPoint once again. Um, it was featured in this video up here. And it's actually a staggered sort of effect. Um, that means you can get these really cool anim text animations with really simple um, with really simple animations so we can we've got all of that here and we're just going to make this one which is the rectangle wiping in go with previous with a 0.25 delay which is what we want it's automatically doing that and then for this second one we're going to go with previous once again and then we're going to change the delay to zero so if I show you what this looks like it's going to look like this and that's what we want so if you like this video and found it helpful, make sure to like below and subscribe for more great content. If you want to purchase this template, you can find that on my website. The link will be in the description and on the pinned comment down below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.